Kelly Zakio out of Balance Studios. She's taking on Gabby Best here. Both ladies are standing. I like this. It seems like they both want a trip, an inside trip. Yeah, so Gabby's going to find herself on top. And Ooh, what a mean cross face. And it almost looks like she's going for Ezekiel. Yeah, I was just going to say, it looked like she folded that left hand over, over top of the neck, and she is. She's going for it. Alexi Alenik style. Ezekiel from top half. But Kelly looks like she's... She's not, she's not going to tap to it. She wants to elevate and, and get her arms in to strip those grips. Yeah, it doesn't look incredibly deep, so she could just be using it to pass. But, but normally, if somebody's throwing in a Nogi Ezekiel, it's, it's with intent. For sure, and it's not comfortable. So Kelly's really like inching her way down to the leg to get that lockdown. And she's going for the underhook. So it's. But Bess is doing a good job of maintaining that top pressure. So she has to answer for that. Yeah, Gabby's top pressure is really good because look at the positioning of her knees. They're not too splayed out, she's keeping her knees connected to her opponent's hips. And that's why she's able to maintain this, this top position so well. But as you gonna... said that, Kelly had a really good recovery here in closed guard, trying to create that space. Yeah, so we'll see if Kelly can mount some offense for closed guard here. Looks like she's already trying to walk it up and create an angle. Gabby's making sure she can't get that angle. She's got that shoulder in the chin. Now she'll tripod up. But a lot of the times when you commit to the upper body and you try pot up and close guard, that gives the opponent an opportunity uh, to, to create an the angle top, from the yeah. bottom. Yeah. It's like she has a high guard arm bar. Oh, she flipped the leg over. Her arm is straight. Hands are just barely connected now. We'll see if she can, she can get those hands separated. But now she's kind of sideways, so it looks like Gabby's going to start to slip out of that. Yeah. The leg's over. A little bit, a little bit better position for Gabby now. If she can get that right leg over, she'll have a good look at a pass here. And when it's belly down like this, a lot of the times you can rotate your elbow. So it's okay to commit to that back step to the right side. Yeah, but it leaves no space for Kelly to, to go for any other transition for that arm. She may lose it here. Nice. So, so Gabby's going to wind up on top. Double overs. Oh, she's... Trying that All-American is Kelly. And she, oh, nice. Six scramble. Now she has, see how she's getting her left heel connected to the, uh, to the elbow pit? Yeah, I think she wants a an inverted triangle. triangle. Yep. Yeah, so Gabby has a good look at an inverted triangle here, but now it's a little bit messier. No, she's able to lock the feet, and that's in. I think Kelly recognizes that, and she's trying to hop over to the other side yeah, to create some space. What's happening now? How how uh, Gabby is trying to work Ooh, Kelly to her left. Is that hip. a knee bar? Yeah, it looks like it. So she worked her over to the left hip, but Kelly was able to to, to free those legs up, or sorry, uh, disconnect them. Very nice attempt to that knee bar. It looks like extended. Yeah, and she's still sprawling on it, but I, I think the only problem is that her head is below. Her head is stuck, Gabby's yeah. Hips. Yeah. But you could you have to count that as a as a submission attempt, you know, to answer for that triangle she was in. Yeah. You got referee Brian Sheehan, I'm sure he's hit that knee bar in competition multiple times. Absolutely. And right here's a perfect position as well to finish a knee bar. You, but see, you see how the configure of her legs yep. by Kelly here that tells me she kinda she she wants she that. She might knee bar. yeah, she's a little too high on it, but if if she lowers her hips, 
she may be able to get that finish. But Gabby looks like she's trying to go for a, a, a Marcellatine here. Or a high elbow. Oh, and, and, and you, you see the ref saying we're going to keep it going because there is a submission, a lock submission. So we're keeping the clock running. Yeah, even if it's not, even if we don't get the finish, it, it's still a good way to end the match. So she's got to pass or, or get those hands disconnected if, uh, if we want to go to a Listen, judge's decision. I would, I would still try to hunt for that knee bar. Ah, oh, it's time. Very good match by these ladies. Like a lot of back and forth from both. This one's tough. Judges having that conversation right mm -hmm. now. I think they're asking what I'm asking. Was that knee bar tight? Was that triangle tight? She did finish in a, a good, solid guillotine there at the end. It looks like Gabby Gabby Best, Gabby. Scavenger BJJ is going to take it by decision. Another action-packed match. Good job, ladies. We also want to give a quick shout out to Megan Newberry Photography for their contribution to We Defy. Megan Newberry uh, Photography captures all of life's authentic moments. Megan serves, right. services include newborn pregnancy, 